But right now, I'm just shooting at 11mm because it's why you can capture most of this architecture. So it's really good for real estate videos as well. I'm going to compare this with the 16mm Sigma lens. Okay, so right now this is the Sigma 16mm f1.4 currently at f1.4 and a shutter speed of 250 so it won't get blown out. Early on, the Sony 11mm f1.8 was at a shutter speed of 100 so that's the difference, uh, you got to up the speed by 100 to compensate. So right now, 16mm is obviously a bit more cropped, it's not as wide. So 16mm on a APS-C crop lens is up to about 24mm of a focal length. The 11mm Sony lens is... Well, I'm, I'm going to do the math and going to put the stats over here. Still a good wide lens, while you have to consider the 11mm Sony lens as a ultra-wide. 